Hello, Newcastle local sporting legends. Welcome to uh, the, the Newcastle HB Sports, Newcastle results from the weekend. Uh, my name's Happy Bowler, first name Happy, last name Bowler. Uh, been doing a uh, show on sports, basically lawn bowls for quite some time, live streaming, a little bit about myself, been live streaming the bowls, magic, massive sports, tragic. Fortunately, I'm a Tiger supporter. You know, I follow the Knights, second team, you know, home team. We follow the Knights and the Jets and the, all the sports, you know, love the sports, play them all. And I thought, well, I've been doing the bowl show, been live streaming bowls. Wouldn't mind live streaming and bringing sport updates on. The sports we don't really hear all the time, you know, like the, you know, we're always, you know, you can get the NRL and the, the uh, AFL and every, all those sports. We get them pretty well often, so... Here I am, pre-run show, just a bloke having a go, doing a local show, plenty of stuff ups along the way, I'm sure. That's just, if you get to know me, you know that uh, if it's there to be broken, I'm pretty good at breaking shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, what we do is on, uh, we just go through all the results. So basically, I'll go through the results. We'll have this out on Tuesday. Of the local sporting competitions, if there's a result I haven't got to, you can email me at realhappybowler.com.au. Maybe that's not even it. What is my email address? Realhappybowler at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, you can send me some info if you like. Happy to plug it out there. Um, just the new experiment I'm going to do with our local sporting shows. Um, yeah, so. What we do, we'll get into it. We're going to start with, uh, we're going to go through, actually, we'll go through what we'll the Newcastle Rugby League round 15 results. Uh, Hunter Rugby Premier 1 and 2, round 14 results coming up. Uh, I think they had a buy, so they had a buy. Um, but we'll have who's coming up um, in round 15. We'll have the Soccer Premier League, uh, the NPL, and the uh, Women's NPL results with the couple of the uh, ZF League as well, first grade and reserve grade in that. And uh, we'll follow a bit of the local bowls, the Hunter, Co uh, Hunter Coast Hockey. We'll also follow a bit of that. Uh, tennis, nice doing there. I couldn't find much, but anyway, we'll go through it. Surfing, when the next surf comps are up. Yeah, golf. Um, yeah, I like to try to go through all the local sports. And uh, yeah. Hope you can subscribe and, and if you like it, or give me some comments. Uh, normally I always do these live, but being you know the first one, I thought I'd just throw it out there and uh, put it on there and hopefully a couple of people might enjoy it. And uh, happy days, friends. Happy days. As I said, happy, happy's my name and sports the game. <laughs> it's a bit of fun. Here we go. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off... Uh, so we're going to start off with the the uh, the Newcastle Rugby League um, round fifteen on Saturday. That was that uh, first game. <clears throat> first game was uh, Lakes United fifty four to ten over Central Newcastle. So Charlestown boys, eh? That Central Newcastle, a bit of a tough day there in the office. Going down 54 to 10, South Newcastle, they took on Western Suburbs at home and got up 28 to 12. Cessnock, 14 at home, went down to the entrance. The entrance, the Tigers, the Mighty Tigers, uh, they got a win up over Cessnock. Uh, the Northern Hawks, 16, uh, up against the Wyong Roos. And uh, Wyong were too strong, 28 to 16. So last time I sort of took notice, you know, I've been following it a bit, but, you know, Wyong weren't in it, the entrance weren't in it. It was just sort of the local guys. Uh, it's good to see Wyong and a couple of Central Coast teams get in it. And the Northern Hawks, good to see them back in it, in the uh, the real NRL. Uh, Curry, Macquarie and Maitland. They had buys, so they all had buys in round 15. The ladder, let's have a look at the ladder, see who's going, how we going here. Maitland on top, 
playing world killer, the pumpkin pickers. We're on 28 points. Uh, 13, so what are they? They had 12 wins, one loss. South Newcastle in second. They're on 24 points. They're a game in front of uh, Maitland. Wyong Roos, they're on 24. Eagle third. Cessnock, 21 points. Entrance, 20. You see Western Suburbs, 15. Maitland, uh, Macquarie Scorps, the Scorpions, my local club, more than 14. Central Newcastle, and you got Lakes, Northern Hawks, and Curry. Uh, coming up next week, around, what are we, around 16, Saturday, 2 p.m., uh, Western Suburbs will take on Central, and it's at Harker Oval. Cessna will play while at home at Baddeley Park. Uh, game three, we'll see Maitland at home to Norman Hawks. Maitland, number one sports ground. That's at 3.15 p.m. Uh, Sunday, 2 p.m., Macquarie Scorpions take on Lake United at Lyle Peacock. And at, what's that? He's at uh, ED, ED, Edsac Oval North. Is that what it is? Edsac Oval North, the entrance. Take on Curry on Sunday at 3 p.m. And South Newcastle will get the bye. So that's a look at the uh, Newcastle Rugby League first grade. In reserve grade, Newcastle Rugby League reserve grade, we have South Newcastle take on Western Suburbs, and it was uh, the Magpies, 28-6. Game two saw Macquarie at home get a big win up over Curry, 46-16. Game three, 26-0. Maitland took on Central Newcastle and had a big win there. The Norman Hawks, 18, went down to Cessnock uh, at home, 34-18. And Lakes United had the bye. It's a lot of going here. Remember when I played for Macquarie? God, we, we played reserve grade. We're getting smashed every week. Let's get smashed. <laughs> uh, first first in Maitland. So Maitland is coming first, followed by West. South Newcastle on 22. So it's close for our second spot. You got West 23. And then Cessnock in fourth on 20. Then Lakes United 19. So second to fifth, very tight. And you got the Northern Hawks 6. Macquarie uh, in... That's a good win for Macquarie. And they're in seventh spot, Central 8, and Curry. Yet to find a win in ninth position. So coming up next week, in the next week, round 16 reserve grade, we see West. Western Suburbs will play Central Newcastle. Cessnock will play Curry. That's, uh, well, we'll go back to West. That's at 12.30 p.m. on Saturday. And... 1.30 p.m. Uh, at Cessnock Sports Ground. Is the reserve grade kicking off there. Maitland kick off again, 1.30 on Saturday. As well as they're taking on Northern Hawks. Macquarie, they'll play Lakes United at home at 12.30 on Sunday. And South can stay home and rest up and uh, have the weekend off. Let's look at the reserve grade. What have we got here? Um, the under-19s. So under-19s on Saturday. We saw Western Suburbs had a big win, 30-6 over South Newcastle away. Cessnock at home, Zilt, Maitland, 24. Lakes United, 24. Curry, nil. So that's the under-19s ladder. Top of the table, six teams in this comp. We got Lakes United in the 19s. We're killing it. 12 from 12. Wow. Oh, 30 points. Gee whiz, they're going all right. And uh, next you got, it's pretty tight for the next second spot. You got West, South Newcastle, Mainland all vying for that second spot. Uh, and you got Curry on four wins on 11 points, one draw. And Cessnock, they've just had the one win. So that's the under 19s. Um, so that's a look at the Newcastle Rugby League. Next, we'll go to the uh, Hunter 
rugby union, which is called the, uh, what's that called again? It's called the uh, Tui's Cup or something. I could go right up and have a look. Let's have a look. What, what do they call it? The Tui's Hunter Rugby Premier 1. So Tui's Hunter Rugby Premier 1. So we had a buy. We had a buy last week. So, but coming up this weekend, it will be round 14. And round 14, we'll see the Hamilton Hawks. They'll play the Southern Beaches. Uh, Where's that at? Passmore Oval, 3 p.m. on Saturday. And then also on Saturday, 3 p.m. at Burnie Current Oval, we have the University of Newcastle taking on Merriver Carlton. And game three, we see Marcelon Park will be Maitland taking on the Wanderers. So that's round four. Let's have a look. We've got the ladder. What have we got next coming up? Ladder. So the ladder in the... Um, the uh, Premier One Rugby Union comp, Maitland. They're on first spot. They've had, what, 10 wins, 10 from 12, 49 points. And you've got bonus points in there, so have a look at that. So they've got nine bonus points. Oh, look down there, we've got the Wanderers. They're on 12 bonus points, sitting in third spot on 34. Then you've got Murray Carlton in second. Played 12, won nine. Eight bonus points, 44 points. Uh, University of Newcastle. Now they travel. They've had five wins, two draws, uh, five losses for 10 and 10 bonus points for 34. The Hamilton Hawks, they've uh, won four, one draw, seven losses. They're on uh, 25 points. And the uh, Southern Beaches. The Southern Beaches, well, they've had the... Uh, the one win, how many bonus points? They got the one bonus point, they're on five points. So that's the Premier One competition for the Hunter Rugby Union. The reserves in Premier One, well, again, we had that bye weekend. So when they come out to play this weekend, round 14 for the, the Rugby Union reserves, we'll have University of Newcastle. They'll be taken on. Merriweather Carlton, uh, Hamilton Hawks, they'll play the uh, Southern Beaches, and Maitland will take on the Wanderers. So they're all at 1.40 p.m. on Saturday. So that's a look at the men's rugby union, and we've done the uh, ladder, and we, we, what's that? That's the reserves, so the reserves. See Merriweather Carlton on top. 50 points in Premier 2. The Wanderers' second position, um, they're on 42 points. Well, it was very close. Maitland, they're just behind on 41. So those bonus points could come in uh, very handy in this competition, can't they? It's a good idea. Southern Beaches, well, they're on 22 points in fourth. Fifth, University of Newcastle. Then you got sixth, the Hamilton Hawks. So they're on 12 points. Um, so that's a look at the Premier 2 in the Hunter Rugby Union. Now we go to the uh, the soccer. The soccer. Let's bring up the uh, Newcastle Premier League in the soccer. We have... Uh, I'll bring that up. So keep up with where we are. The uh, soccer. So the NPL men's. Round 19, so kicked off on the weekend. Saturday, we had Maitland FC take on Edgeworth. Big win there for Maitland, 4-0. Charlestown, Zuri, 2. Newcastle Olympic, 1. So good win there for Charlestown at home. Let Macquarie City went down. Oh, Jesus, they went down 1-6. The Broadmeadow, the magic, showed a bit of magic there and pulled a bit out of the hat and... Put six away over Lake Macquarie City. The Western Workers, uh, they had a two-all draw with Adamstown Rosebuds. Back in the day, I'll tell you a story. Back in the day, friends, I was about 14, 13, no, 14. Dad's like, hey, happy, we're going to go play for the Rosebuds. I'm like, Dad, I don't want to do it. He says, no, nah, we're going to go play. He walked me up. He walked me up to the trials, and I got there, and 
Oh, anyway, I ended up going in, but it was under 16s. So I was only 14 or 16, so and I didn't end up doing it. I said, no, I'm not doing it. And uh, anyway, didn't he have the shits with me? <laughs> so I almost paid for the Rosebuds back in the day. So the Rosebuds, uh, two or draw with Western Workers. Uh, Cooksill United had a 4 3 victory over New Lambton. And Valentine uh, had, hey, went down to the Jaffers, the Lambton Jaffers, 2 1. Um, the latter. Charles down as jury. Well, they've played 19. Um, they're on top on 41 points, 41 points. So this is a pretty good little format here, isn't it? You can see they got the win, draw, loss, win, win. So back to back wins there for Charles down as jury. Maitland FC. Well, they're on a winning streak here. They've won uh, five in a row. Landon Jaffers. Well, they just had a draw on the weekend, so. They're in third on 37. The Magic, well, after back-to-back -back losses, they've come up with a big, that big win there over um, the Roosters. Uh, they're on 36 points. Western Workers, fifth. Edgeworth, six. Newcastle Olympics, seven. Cook City United, eight. Valentine, nine. And oh, the Rosebuds, tenth. New Lampton, 11. And Lake Macquarie, well... They're struggling. They're only on four points in last position. Now, coming up next week, what have we got coming up next week? Round 20 for the uh, the Premier League, the NPL men's. Uh, we'll have the Lampton Jaffers. Well, they're going to be taking on Charleston and Azuri. Newcastle Olympic, they'll take on New Lampton. That's at Darling Street Oval at 3 p.m. Uh, Cooksville United will play Maitland FC at Fernley Dawes Athletics Field. Broadmeadow Meadow Magic at home to Adamstown Rosebuds. Uh, that's on Sunday. Western Workers on Sunday, 2.30, will take on Lake Macquarie City. And Edgeworth FC will play Valentine Football Club. So that's a look at the... Um, the what is it? The uh, soccer, the NPL men's soccer. I think we've got the women's. And we've done that one there. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so the ladies, the NPL women, they played on uh, the weekend. We had the Miss, the Mid Coast FC. Well, they went down big time in Newcastle Olympic. 7 0. Game 2 saw Adam Sam Rosebuds at home. One, they went down to Broadmeadow Magic 4, so a little bit of a local derby there. Chelsea and Azuri, 7. Wow, that's a big win over the Warners Bay FC. And Maitland FC at home had 5-1 win, so a couple of big wins there. It'd be interesting to see what the ladder is for the women. Uh, Broadmeadow, wow, upset loss really, isn't it? Broadmeadow Magic, did they play again? Broadmeadow Magic... Meadow Magic, Adamstown. So Adamstown, where are they? Adamstown. Oh, that's a big win for Adamstown. Um, this is in draw. Adamstown Rosebuds. Oh, yeah, that went down to Broadmeadow. What was it saying? Loss. So I told you anything could happen here, friends. It's saying a loss there. Broadmeadow Magic, loss. And Saturday, July 15. Broadmeadow Magic. One, four. Anyway. Oh, no. I'm looking at it. It's right to left. <laughs> so I told you anything could happen here, friends. Eh? I'm reading it the wrong way. So it's left to right. Left to right. All right. There we go. Makes sense. Makes sense. This is all new to me. I'm only putting it all together. This is all new. We'll work it out as we go along. It's like my bowls when I started my bowls. Oh, God, then I make some mistakes. <laughs> uh, Broadmeadow and Magic. So they had a, anyway, they are winning 41 points. They have won four in a row. Newcastle Olympics second, 39. Maitland FC on 37. Then four for Charlestown, New Lambton, Adamstown, Mid Coast, and Warners Bay. So that's the table coming up round six. 
what is it, round 18 this weekend. We see Bravo Magic at home in Newcastle Olympic. So the Rosebuds, the Buddies, will take on the uh, the new Lampton, the new Lampton, not the old Lampton. Warners Bay FC will play Maitland FC. Charlestown and Zuri will take on Mid Coast. So that, my friends, is a look at the, the women in the soccer and in the... Uh, the uh, ZF League, round 14, the ZF League, round 14, first grade. Results. We saw Swansea FC, one, went down to Newcastle Olympic, three. Cardiff City, four, at home, had a narrow win over Hamilton Azuri, four, three in that game. The Wildcats, two, got up over the New University, one. The uh, Newcastle Suns, two, played Mayfield United, nil. On the Sunday, Dudley Redhead took on Minmire Wanderers, and it was a 5-1 win there for Dudley. Katara South played Warners Bay and got 3-1 in that game. The latter in the uh, first grade, the ZF League Premier first grade ladder sees Dudley on top, 46 no, 45, Newcastle Suns. The Suns are on 40, so they're shining bright. Katara South, third. Warners Bay, fourth. And then you got, you know, the rest of the teams there. you got Mayfield, Newcastle Olympic, Swansea on 22. The Wildcats, they're on 20. University of Newcastle, Hamilton, Zuri, Minmore, and last is Cardiff City. So that's... The Premier Ones coming up this weekend, round 16. Swansea FC will play University of Newcastle. Cardiff City will take on Newcastle Olympic. Um, and one of those games on uh, Saturday. Um, they're both 2.30. Uh, what's this game? Fishburn. Noel Fishburn Oval. Noly, good job. <laughs> Noly Fishburn Oval, Saturday. 2.30 p.m. We have the Wildcats take on the uh, Dudley Redhead side. And then we've got the Newcastle Suns will play Minmite Wanderers. That's uh, at 2.30. So all these are on 2.30. Sunday, Warners Bay at home to Hamilton, Azuri, Cardiff. Katara South will play Mayfield United. Um, that's on Sunday. So that's a look at the... The Premier First Grade, let's check out the uh, Premier Reserve Grade, friends. Premier Reserve Grade, round 14. So round 14, the Premier Reserve Grade, we saw Swansea FC took on Newcastle Olympic, and it was a 2-0 win to Swansea FC. Over Newcastle, Cardiff, Cardiff City, one. Hamilton, Zuri, one. Uh, the Wildcats, 2-1 up over University. The Suns, 2 all with Mayfield United. Uh, Redhead Dudley, 5. Big win over Minmire. Katara, South, uh, 2. Warners Bay, 2. So a draw there in that game. The latter in the uh, ZF League reserves. Dudley Redhead on top. They're on 39. Newcastle Suns on 30. Mayfield United, 30. Katara South, they're on 28 points. So that's a pretty tight competition there. I mean, it's still anyone's game. Warners Bay, 24. University of Newcastle, Swansea, Newcastle, Olympic. Hamilton, Zuri, and Minamai, top 10. you got, what's that, Cardiff City. And then you've got the oh, Hopeless Westlakes Wildcats. They're uh, only on the three points there. So three points coming up. Next week, round 15 in the ZF League Premier Reserve Grade. Hamlin Zuri take on Katara South at 12.45 p.m. Mayfield United will play Cardiff City. That's uh, Saturday again at 12.45 p.m. at Mayfield Park. Uh, University, they will play Dudley Redhead. That's at Ray Watt Oval on Saturday, 12.45. Uh, 
Uh, Meanwhile, Wanderers, this game's at 1.45 p.m. on Saturday. We'll play Swansea. And then Newcastle at home to Newcastle Olympics. That's the Suns take on the Olympic on at Myers Park on uh, Saturday at 3 p.m. So that's a look at the soccer in the the uh, the soccer competition. Um, in the bowls, got a bit of bowls uh, in the bowls. What have we got coming in the bowls? I haven't really got anything for the bowls at the moment. Coming up in the bowls, well. I can tell you we had uh, we had in the bowls we got the soldiers point. We currently got the um, four way challenge. So in the bowls we got plenty of different tournaments. Well, that's the wrong one. Yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching and subscribing. <laughs> uh, friends, that's what we get here on Happy Bowler. So the bowls, we've got the four-way challenge going on up at Soldiers Point, and that's between the New South Wales trains. They're taking on the uh, police, the fire brigade, and the New South Wales master builders. And I can tell you, currently it's the police in first position. The fire brigade in second, the trains third, and uh, the, oh, the poor old builders, they need to start building some wins because they're coming in fourth spot in the... Four way challenge, so it's day two up there today at Soldiers Point. And we also had uh, the champion champions. Uh, we had Raymond Terrace getting up over Soldiers Point in a close battle there um, in the champion champion fours. So well done to the Jets. Um, I think we're up to the, the Premier League and the soccer. Hunter Coast Premier League Hockey, I mean, not soccer, hockey, Hunter Coast Premier League. Well, there's no results here. I had a look, see if I can get the results here. This is a bit strange. The um, I'll bring that up and have a look at this, friends. So, there's no results there for round 15 on the Hunter Coast Premier Hockey League. Uh, if I click on details, what's that show us? Details. Shows us results of this match are currently not available. Hockey, what are you doing, friends? Round 15. Well, they got the previous rounds on there. We don't have round 15. There might be an issue. Let's have a look. We've got a lottery. So you can bring up the ladder. Draws and results. Uh, oh, we've got a ladder. So we can do the ladder. We can see the Norths. Norths are on top on 27 in the Hunter Coast Premier Hockey League. Gosford, 16, uh, 16 points in second. West, they're on uh, 14 points in third. I've no idea how many games they're playing hockey league. But we'll follow it. We'll bring it up and we might find find the results or whatever. They, uh, you know, might update it eventually. But South and the Tigers, oh, look at the Tigers. They're like me, West Tigers, coming last. <laughs> Bad luck, Tigers. Keep going when you win. When you get the wins, they're a bit more exciting. Well, what's going up next round? Next round. Well, that don't work. Next round is on Sunday, 30th of July. Oh, here it does. Uh, we'll see Central Coast Hockey Park. We'll play Gosford. Where's that at? Uh, Central Coast Hockey Park. I just read that, didn't I? They'll take on uh, the Central Coast. will take on Gosford. We've got Newcastle. Into the National Hockey Centre, we have uh, North versus the Tigers, uh, and West will play South. So, Gosford will take on Maitland, North versus Tigers, and West will play South. So, that's round 16 of the Newcastle and uh, the Hunter and Coast Premier Hockey League. That's those ones. What have we got after that? We'll check out the. Uh, oh, why is that coming up? So anyway, that's uh, coming up there in the Hunter Coast Hockey League. Uh, yeah, if I click on this, I might come up with tennis. Top spin tennis. Top spin tennis. Where's the top spin tennis? Well, this is what I got for top spin tennis, trying to bring the results. Tuesday night, they play doubles, percentages. Um, yeah, I think I didn't really get too much. Look, Tuesday night doubles. Tuesday night singles. Any results? 
coaching tennis pro requesting gallery who are who are we who are we who are we top spin tennis well we're not sure about the tennis tennis for everyone since 1996 they've been helping players play coaching blah 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 if you don't have our own racket they'll help you out testimonials anyway where's the competition 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 now, Tuesday night singles. Um, yeah, anyway, I guess we can't bring up any tennis results. Oh, yeah, Tuesday night point score. Here we go. This might give us some information. Point score. Oh, I've got some good photos. Here we got oh, the kids. Oh, good on them, having a crack. It looks like fun. The youngins out there having a crack. And uh, what do we got here? What's this photo? More youngins. So that's uh, Top Spin Tennis. Uh, and we'll go see what we can find out about the uh, the netball. What's going on in the netball? Newcastle netball competition here. Uh, well, the netball was complicated as well. Couldn't really find out the netball. It was a bit tough for me to find out. There was a crap load. What's this say? Uh, details. Saturday, game 10, 22nd of July. Let's have a look. Time and location, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, so, friends, you're learning with me. You're learning with me. We're doing all this as we fly. It's flown on the go for these happy bowler sporting shows. Forms, rosters, what's the Tri-Series? NNA Tri-Series for the Netball. Open Championships uh, 2020-21. Tri-Series MVP medals. Anyway, not real much information happening there for the Netball for us. Uh, what do we got after the Netball? Hunter Valley, oh, the Volleyball. Ooh, the Beach Volleyball. Hunter Valley Volleyball. Let's see what we can find out here. Hunter Valley Volleyball. Well, we're going to definitely have to follow the beach volleyball. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. That's, that's A-grade stuff, yeah. So uh, Tuesday night A-grade competition. He's played at a fast and competitive pace. Summer, summer autumn competition. What have we got here? Oh, the beach volleyball tour. Mainly Port Stephens, November. Saturday 19, Sunday 20, and in January we've got 7th and 8th of January. But let's go back to here, find us on Facebook. What have we got on Facebook? Let's have a look here. Uh, Newcastle Hunter Valley Volleyball. Oh, they can hear the, uh, the sausage sizzle, 14th of July. Uh, fill up a snag and a soft drink this Sunday. We are uh, at Bunnings Warehouse. We're at Katara. Okay, so you can help raise some money for Hunter Valley Hunter Volleyball. They're going to be at Bunnos. 16th. Oh, that was. Yeah, this. Uh, what's the date today? 18th. Oh, we missed it. Oh, well, I hope they made plenty of money. I hope they made plenty of money, friends. So, anyway, there's no real results there for the volleyball. What are we got after the volleyball? Surfing. Oh, crack out some surfing. Happy oh this this Saturday friends we're gonna to go to Merriweather in the surfing and uh, this Saturday I'm gonna be live streaming surfing on Happy Bowl of Sports. Gonna live stream some free surfing, see how we go, give it a test, see how I can come up with it. I do a lot of bowls and gonna look up to open up a different uh, Different sports, if you're looking at live streaming and you want to live stream and promote your sport, give me a buzz at happycamlivestreaming at gmail.com and uh, send me an email or just contact me on my Happy Bowl Facebook page or whatever. And uh, yeah, give me a buzz, friends, and I'm sure we can have a look at what we can do. Uh, so surfing, well, we're coming up. Coming up on the calendar, we have uh, a River Surfboard Club. Uh, let me go here. Home. Let's go to home. Let's have a look. Oh, heat slink. What's the heat slink? Heat slink. No, no. Let's go back home. 
I remember the surfboard. Like, Happy was a surfboard club rider. Back in my younger days, I used to compete there, up there, and sit on, look at this photo, some breakthrough. Okay, we've got coming up, you know, 30th of July, Comp 4, entries closed Saturday 29th of July. We have, you know, under 12 boys, 14, so you just click on this. There's, there's an event for anybody, anybody can have a crack at the Merriver Board Riders. Uh, Merriver, let's check out their page here. Uh, I remember back in my younger day, 59 years ago today, on the 27th of June 1964, the club was formed by a crew of young surfing. Let's watch this. Let's check it out. 50th anniversary. What was I bringing sound? How long is this guy for? Goes for a while. Goes through the history of the club, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's uh, Merriweather Surfboard Club, the board riders. Let's come up for them. Uh, what else have we got? We got, uh, what's this one here? That's that one, that one, that one. Catherine Hill Board Riders, they still going? Let's have a look at Cafe Hill Board Riders. Uh, Catherine Hill Board Riders. July comp is off. It's one foot again. Oh, bugger. We'll go again next Sunday. So, Board Riders, they'll be trying to go next Sunday. Um, they're on the uh, Facebook. Now, yeah, we've got the Bar Reef Boarders. The Bar Reef Board Riders. I can't tell you the Bar Reef Bull Rise event eight is coming up on Sunday the eighth of August. There it is there. Sunday eighth of August. Let's check out their uh that's their home page. We got what we got here. Let's have a look about history. Bar Reef Board Riders. Gee whiz, I remember waking up one morning, spewing me a hole up on the beach sleeping there when I was younger. Shh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Bar Beach, what a club that is, eh? Good little club there. They, they used to have hot showers, I remember, when I was younger. Best part about it, had hot showers. Um, here we go, we got uh, Newcastle East End Board Riders. Well, East End Board Riders, they're com it's coming up on the 20th of August. Uh, their next comp, comp 4, 20th of August for East End Board Riders. Um... Register for the next comp, Bridger here. That's a good thing, you just rock up, have a go. Welcome to East End Border Rise, Newcastle, Crown Community for Resurfing. Uh, said competition dates, next one's coming out 24th August. Um, swimming, well, let's see if I can bring up some swimming information. Yeah, swimming was a bit tough. So, Looking at the swimming, here we go. I couldn't find sort of the results. I remember there was a comp, someone used to ramp the radio on 2HD and, and tell us about the local swimming competition. Don't know if it's swimming competition time. Well, what's this? Rankings and records. Australian record application form. Swimming records. Long course, what's that do? 50 meter freestyle world record. That dude, <laughs> come off, Ben Proud. Mm. Well, Ian Fort, here we go. Ian Fort, what was his time? Manchester, three minutes, three minutes and forty seconds. Four hundred meter freestyle. Grant Hackett, oh, we all remember Grant Hackett breaking Ian Fort's record. Eh, anyway, that's swimming. That's the swimming. But I'll keep working on swimming and work out how I can find the local swimming results. What's that say? Results Central. Results Central. What if I click here? From to age. No, no. That looks a bit complicated. Um, home. I remember the sussing out earlier. That said, get events, calendar, results. They come up with a list of regions, but then it kept taking me to the home bush, so... Anyway, friends, let's look at swimming. Oh, last but not least, I think, oh, 
Golf. What have we got here? Golf. It's coming up in the world of golf. So golf, we had the uh, update after Hawks Nest. Uh, I did see the events coming in golf. There's a tournament coming up this weekend. We got the um, where is it? Here's my info here. We got the uh, Newcastle District taking on the Hunter River Golf Association. That's at uh, for playing for the PR West Shield at Nelson Bay. The ND has chosen a following team to try and win the PR West Shield in our annual match against the Hunter River. So these matches are traditionally very tight, and in recent past we have had a couple of draw results. Okay. So the team of six opens and six juniors will play a four ball matches on Saturday, July 22nd, with two off at 11 a.m. at Northam Bay Golf Club. Singles match play on Sunday, July 23, with two off at 9 a.m. So, who's in the team here? Uh, we've got anyone in the team. The NDGA team is opens. Tom D. Witt, David Alexander, Luke, what is it, Ferry, Oscar Gilson, Chris Jardine, or, yeah, uh, Hamish Ellison, and the up-and-coming talented golfers, Lachlan Lawson, Austin Hiskins, uh, Lachlan Venables, Jaden Butler, Toby Clune, and Harvey Payne. So they're competing in the um, the PR West Shield at Nelson Bay. Um, also, if I get rid of that, we've got the uh, the B and C grade pennants round two. That's playing, and uh, so if you're playing the pennants, that's uh. Coming up this weekend as well. Yeah, let's check out this here. I was having a look at this this competition that was on up there at Hawks Nest um, previously. Um, the 2023 OAM Golf Association or Order of Merit. Let's have a look here. What's this going to tell us? Can we uh, bring that in a bit closer? So, uh, here we go first. Oscar Gilson. So Oscar, he must go all right. He's currently first. When he come in the Pacific June, he's going to become 10th. So he's had a 10th, 9th, 15th, a 10th. He's coming second here. Second is uh, Les Wallace. Third is David Alexander. Fourth, Andrew Bowden. Um, he's on, what's he on? 10,500. He's coming fifth. Josh Greenwood is equal fifth with uh, Damien Grogan. Six. Where's a sixty? Sixty position. There's no one there in sixth position. Okay. Eighth. What have we got? Eighth. Uh, Lachlan Lawson and Greg McMillan. Oh, seventh. What a seventh there. Jordan Ward in seventh spot there. So that's after the. Uh, that's the Newcastle District Golf Association. Order of Merit, and that's after the update after the Hawks Nest Cup. So, um, yeah, I think that's about all I've got. That's the golf calendar, and uh, I was trying to look at darts, um, and uh, looking at darts, but that was a bit tough for me to find because there's so many places I'm going to have a crack at darts. Um, obviously that's going to pop up every time I uh, tune in. So friends, anyway, that's the first episode. You get the gist, we go through the results of all the scores. Hopefully uh, we can get a bit more smoother as we go along. There's a lot to get through. And um, happy days friends, happy days. That's my first one. Like I said, I normally go live with this. You can get on and, and comment and still comment in there and let me know what I did wrong. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, happy days, friends. So that's uh, the uh, HB Sports Newcastle results for this episode, the first episode of uh, my following the Newcastle Sports. I know we're getting into it late, but we'll have the cricket and everything coming in and, and uh, again, different sports pop up over the time. Good luck to everyone playing on the weekend. And remember, friends, 
Anyone can play. Get in the lawn bowls. Good job. Happy days. Hooroo.